Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and seeing what I have to show you for today. I'm going to be doing a favorites video and it's been a hot minute since I've done a favorites video, but I have to say, I love making favorites videos and I love watching favorites videos because I'm talking about stuff that I love and when I watch favorite videos, I feel like I just feel the passion and the love from that person who is talking about things that they really like. So there's like something really genuine behind it and you find out a lot about like new products that you didn't know about and like a real genuine opinion on it. So if you wanna see my favorites for the recent month or two, <laughs> my recent faves, then just keep on watching and remember to give this video a thumbs up to support my channel, subscribe for more videos, and let's just hop in. I'm gonna start with jewelry because that is what I'm wearing right now and what you can see right off the bat. So I'm the type of person that likes very dainty, minimal jewelry, very simple pieces, nothing too big and gaudy. I just think it just, I don't like stuff to take away from like me. I just wanted to accent it. Same with makeup, except for these lips, which I'll get into later. But getting into the jewelry, I'm wearing a bracelet, which is from Jury L. I'm actually wearing a necklace from them too. I'm gonna show you a few other pieces that they sent me because I think that they are really, really pretty pieces for an amazing price. So what I'm wearing right now is just like a simple gold kind of like tassel bracelet and it's adjustable so it can fit a variety of sizes. And this really pleasantly surprised me actually because on the website, the photos are blown up a little so you can see the detail, but in person it's so dainty and pretty and it's just really simple. And I actually, I always hear like people with bracelets and they kind of jingle a little bit and I kind of wanted that, but not too much because it gets really annoying when it's like clanking everywhere and like jingling and you're like jingling all the way. But it has a little bit of that like clicky sound and I'm, I'm liking it. So this is the Modern Golden Wafer Sterling Silver Plated Gold Bracelet and it's $21. It's made out of S925 silver it's in the color gold, of course, and like I said, adjustable so it can fit a wide variety of sizes. So pretty. The necklace that I'm wearing right now is kind of, it's not quite a choker, but it sits right at the collarbone. That's where I have it sitting right now. I think it's so cute to wear with a little scoop neck shirt, like what I'm wearing right now. And it has little stars on it. It's gold, of course, because I like wearing gold jewelry. I just feel like it goes better with my undertones in my skin. This one is called the Star Trek Sterling Silver Necklace. It's $36. It feels a lot higher quality than something that costs $36 though, I must say. It's very well made and it's super pretty. I think it could accent so many different outfits. It's made out of the same material as the bracelets. It has a length that is also adjustable as well. The next piece I got from Juriel that I absolutely have been loving is this little bee necklace. And by the way, all their stuff comes in these little boxes, like a little jewelry box, which is really nice. When I tell you I've been looking for the perfect bee necklace, it's just, it's been so long and I just keep finding ones that are too big for me or don't really like the way it looks, it's not cute. This one is perfect, it has a little glam to it as well. Like how adorable is that? This one is called the Golden Bee Round Cut Sterling Silver Plated Gold Necklace. It's only $27 and its main stone is cubic zircona. I think it is so cute. It has that little sparkle to it, but it's mainly gold and it's adjustable chain on the back as well. The last item jewelry wise that I have to show you for this favorites video is a ring and let me pull up the name of this so I can just tell you right off the bat. This is the Lifetime Round Cut Sterling Silver Ring. It's $33 made from 925 sterling silver, white gold plated, it's nickel free. The main stone is cubic zircona again and it says 925 silver has a purity of 92.5% and is used in fine jewelry, 
just as gold is used. It is beautiful and holds up very nicely in gorgeous designs. So let me show you the ring. It's really simple. My dog is barking. Really simple, but I thought it could really accent other jewelry. And it's just that little bit of sparkle. I think it's so pretty. Like every direction you turn, you get that like rainbow sparkle, which I love personally. It fits me perfect. And I just think that it's a really nice, simple band ring when you want to add a little glam. I never wear rings because I just feel like they get like annoying on my finger, but this one's really comfortable and really minimal with that same kind of pretty but simple glam look to it. Like I said, I will leave all links to Jewelry L and the products that I mentioned down below in the description. And I'm keeping this ring on for the rest of this video. I don't know why I wasn't wearing it already today. So gorgeous. Okay, let's move on to hair products. I usually start with hair first. The first hair favorite that I have to show you is by Maui Moisture. It's the Lightweight Hydration and Hibiscus Water Quenching Detangler. It's for all hair types made with hibiscus water, passion fruit, and watermelon. It's silicone free, which you know if you watch any video where I talk about hair, I don't like silicone in hair care. I try to avoid it or I try to only use specific silicones in conditioners, but I don't like using any leave-ins with silicones. I know it can be protecting of the hair, but I also know that it can weigh down your hair and be really hard to get out and shampoo out of your hair. I don't like that over time. So I try to keep the silicone out of the leave-ins and this has a lot of different like great ingredients for your hair in it it has a whole list of things that it doesn't have in it like mineral oil silicones parabens sls's and it says it's vegan eco-friendly and has pure aloe juice in it 100 percent pure aloe juice it's very good for the hair like i said it smells amazing and it's lightweight you wouldn't even know you had it in your hair but it helps to tangle and it actually does kind of create a little bit of a protective barrier of moisture when you're blowing your hair out i love it and also i will leave any products that i can find links for online down below in the description so if you're interested in purchasing them like that's the whole point of this video right like if you like something you're gonna want to buy it when i'm talking about it that's what I do. <laughs> and my next product is a dry shampoo. This is a lifesaver. We all love dry shampoo, right? But this one can be used even when your hair isn't dirty, even when your hair isn't greasy. This is my like number one secret weapon hair tool. It's by Batiste. It's the volumizing dry shampoo. And it gives you show stop and volume, it says. It has collagen in it. It has a very, very light scent. It doesn't have like a powdery old lady scent. It's just a very nice, simple scent that's not too overpowering. I hate when dry shampoos like smell horrible. This one isn't bad and it just gives you an extra boost of volume. So I will have like freshly washed and blown out hair. And if I need a little more volume to it, I'll give this a very light spray from far away. That's the key to doing dry shampoo is like you don't want to put it too close to the root because it'll be like super white and super caked on. Just a light little spray underneath or even under the ends, it gives you that extra bounciness. Second day hair, it is perfect on as well. All right, that is all the hair. Let's move on to body care, I guess skincare and body. So Bath and Body Works came back with the Twilight Wood Scent. This one was my favorite in candle form. I don't think I ever used any of the body sprays or lotions, but I picked it up because they came out with some fall scent years ago, like 2013. It was like something like woods, but it was like just for fall scent. You know how they have like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, those fall scents. Well, that one was like my favorite and I haven't found something like it, but I feel like Twilight Woods is the closest thing to it. And I do love the way Twilight Woods smells. So I got the body lotion in travel form. It's almost gone because I use it all the time. And once it really meshes with my skin, it just, it smells so good. It's like my own scent now. I also got the matching travel fragrance mist just because I'm really picky about fragrances that I wear. Sometimes I just get so tired of them that they just like bring out bad feelings in me. I'm so weird with smells. So I got the travel of both of them just to see if I liked it. And I really think I'm gonna go buy the full size now. I'm probably gonna wait for a coupon though. The next product I have to show you, you've probably seen in previous videos of mine recently or all over my Instagram, to be honest. I just love, I love this brand. I love their products. It's Flora and Bast. The label has worn off because I've used it so much, but it's their age adapting facial serum. 
and it's a full spectrum cannabis complex and I use it just on my face if I'm wearing no makeup for the day or before bed. It's really great and it's just not too heavy. That's the thing with facial serums and oils and all that. I hate putting those on my face because I feel like they break me out. They clog my pores. They're so heavy and greasy. This one disappears into the skin and just makes you glow. I absolutely love, 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 love this and I've seen results from just using it for such a short amount of time. They make a bunch of different products that you can all take internally so I'll leave Flora and Bath's link down below. Moving on to makeup, I get asked a lot about which mascara that I use. I usually use the, I think it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational, it's like the pink one. Always use that even if I use this, but I've been using this a lot more, especially on those lighter days where I'm not really wearing too much makeup and I just want to wear a little mascara. I don't really wear much anymore, but once in a while, you know, you want a little lash. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is something beauty gurus know about, they've been talking about for years. This mascara is really great for just separating and lengthening your lashes. I always use it on the bottom lash line just because it's like that's what I want to be like super thin and super fanned out and just not clumpy at all. I use this on the top lash like I said on those lighter no makeup kind of days but I also add it in with my other mascara just as an extra lengthener and separator. Like I just like layer it up but the L'Oreal Telescopic is on the floor right now because I just dropped it. I swear by it. <laughs> How you doing down there? The next makeup product that I have to show you is actually from Shein and Shein sent me this but they did not ask me to mention it on any social media on any platform at all. I just love this and I saw that they added their makeup to their website so I figured I would talk about it in this video. First of all, it's a lipstick. Look at the packaging. The packaging is so luxurious. You have pearls, you've got these really shiny little gem diamonds on it. It does not look like a cheap makeup packaging. It looks super glam. Like you would want this on your like night table or makeup table or whatever, bathroom counter, wherever you do your makeup. But this lipstick is like the matte from the Magic Nation co collection. I'll try to find the actual name of it and leave it linked down below. I'm not quite sure, but it says it's number five, Magic Nation. It's a really nice formula. It goes on smooth. It has really good color and pigmentation. It's got great staying power, and I just have no bad things to say about this. And I've been wearing it a lot because I feel like it's, it's kind of like wearing red, but not committing to a full on like stop sign red color. It has a little bit of the rosiness to it. This is the Dove 0% Aluminum Deodorant. I've seen the commercials for it. I've seen like the YouTube ads for it. And I use another brand of deodorants and I've tried so many aluminum free deodorants that are natural. So many of them leave these yellow stains on any white clothes that you have. And so many don't even work. I had a favorite, which is the Zion Health. I just ran out of that. So I picked up the Dove deodorant and this one's in pomegranate and lemon verbena scent. It's got moisturizers in it and 0% alcohol. It's very moisturizing. Like it feels really smooth going on, just like any other Dove deodorant. It's almost like you're putting lotion on your underarms, but it's not greasy. It's not like gross feeling. It says 24 hour odor protection. I don't know about that. It is still really warm here. So I do get a little bit after a while and I am a gardener. Like if you've seen my videos about like what I do for work, I'm working outside. So I have some kind of competition with this, but it works really well for an aluminum free deodorant and it feels like I'm using a regular deodorant. It doesn't, it doesn't like cake up. It doesn't stain my clothes. It doesn't have like those burny kind of feelings that you get with a lot of natural deodorants. This one is awesome. Okay, moving on to food. We're gonna talk about tea first before we get into the little snack I have to show you. But this is the Sleepy Time Extra Tea by Celestial Seasonings. Don't really love this brand so much, but I love this tea. It's really hard to find such a strong tea. This has valerian root in it, 
and that's what knocks me out. I wake up a lot in the middle of the night. I've been waking up at 3 a.m. every night, by the way, on the dot, so that's creepy, not cool. Witching hour. And my morning tea, or pick-me-up tea, has been the Tequino Almond Amaretto Tea. This is a featured tea for Tequino for the month of September, and I absolutely love this. I love Amaretto, I love almond. Those two flavors together are amazing. This is amazing with almond milk, kind of like as a latte. It's even better iced. I've been drinking this so much. I get the tea bag versions, but they do make it in a form where you can like make it just like you would coffee. So if you're trying to like switch from coffee to tea, this is also really great. And it's a low calorie. It can kind of be like a dessert beverage. I absolutely love, 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 love this. Okay, so I've been obsessing over these and I need to talk about it. So this is the Blue Diamond like almonds, but they're honey roasted. I also like the, I think they're like smoked barbecue ones. So I get both of them, but this is like a sweet treat fix. And then the barbecue one is like a salty fix. It's the perfect snack because almonds are good for you, but they have a little bit of flavor to them. So it's like, instead of getting chips, I would get in the Blue Diamond Almonds and I highly recommend them. You can find them at Target, Walmart, Amazon probably. I love them. And I don't mention this in all of my favorites videos, but I wanted to mention it in this one. And I mean, I do it in some of them. So there goes my phone. This is the book I've been reading. This is by Stephen King. I love Stephen King as an author. He's so descriptive. He like makes me keep turning the pages no matter what book it is. He writes a lot of long books. So there's some books that I just can't finish because I don't have the time. But this one's like medium length compared to some other ones. It's Rose Matter and I've been hooked on it. I'm only like a quarter of the way through, but I guess I'll read you the back. It says, after surviving 14 years of hell in a violently abusive marriage, Rosie Daniels finally summons the courage to flee for her life. But leaving her husband Norman for a new city and a new start is a very daunting prospect. It's hard for Rosie not to keep looking over her shoulder, and with good reason. Norman's a police officer, and with the instincts of a predator, a force of relentless terror and savagery, a man almost mythic in his monstrosity. He's very good at finding people, even if he is losing his mind. Rosie's only hope is for salvation may. Rosie's only hope for sal Rosie's only hope for salvation may lie in a far more dangerous place where she must become her own myth and the woman she knew she could be. A lot of suspense in there and I'm really excited to finish it and see what it's all about. Let me know if you like reading and what kind of subjects or authors that you like to read books by. I'm really curious. I'm always looking for new book recommendations, especially in the fall and winter months. I feel like I read more than, but then again, I bring books to the beach in the summer. So I don't know, just let me know what you're reading. All right, guys, that's all I have for this favorites video today. I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, press that notification bell down below to be reminded every time I post a new video so you don't miss one. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.